Hey, what's up guys? Paco Bricks here. Today I've got another Firestar Toys unboxing. I've got some Clone Army Customs pieces to unbox. Anyway, let's just get straight into the unboxing. So I've got some parts, some of the new releases from Clone Army Customs. So the realistic style helmets, I bought some of them. As they look really cool. Let's just open this up. There we go, opened up the box. They always come in the same box as it looks like from Firestar Toys, which is cool. I ordered some other bits as well. So just check my invoice here. As you can see, I did get a set with it, which is pretty, pretty cool. So this was marked down actually, from like eight pounds UK, down to like two pound 50 for this Marvel set right here. So I thought I gotta get it. It's, it's cheap as chips, and yeah, it looks looks pretty cool. Has the instructions, which I didn't actually inspect uh, expect. So that's really cool to get that set right there. Now onto the pieces right here. Some small pieces. So yeah, we got the pieces right here. Some of these are from Clone Army Customs. Some are from Brick Arms. So let's just go over them. To start with, I'll start off with the guns from Brick Arms. So here is the EE11, I believe it's called. Uh, Boba Fett's blaster, basically. Just for my uh, Boba Fett Mandalorian Season 2 custom, right here. Just needed the gun to complete the look of Boba Fett. And... Yeah, pretty much done on this figure now. I'll just paint the gun a little bit. To get the right colours of this awesome figure and the awesome gun. I think it's looking really cool. So next I've got this. This is nowhere near finished. This is just sort of thrown together. None of it's glued on yet. I've just started a base layer of paint and I bought the gunfighter pistol for the Mandalorian. So it's a really detailed gun, I just thought I'd get it now, rather than order later, just so I could see how it looks with the Mandalorian. Of course I'll get his rifle as well, and probably a spear, I've just tacked on the blue tack now, but yeah, this is definitely still a work in progress. I'll definitely do update videos for that figure, as and when it like comes up I guess. So now let's go on to the Gregor. So I bought a Gregor minifigure a while back, or a couple of weeks ago. And it was this one right here from Minifix for You. And I didn't really like the style of helmet, so I bought the Clone Army Customs one to go with it. And also a printed Clone Army Customs backpack. So there it is. Pull that one. And now, I just love the Clone Army Customs helmets, and this goes really well. And there's the backpack, which is awesome. I really do prefer those printed backpacks to the plain ones that came with this figure. I think it just completes the look. And also having that printing on the back makes it look really, really cool. Super, super detailed right there with all the tally marks on his helmet. Yeah, super happy with this one. Now let's go on to the Clone Army Customs new style helmets. So these are the RP2 as they call them. I've never had these before. And they're actually a custom mold and not the same as Lego. So I'll just show you this one close up. This is Cody right here. The RP2. And as you may notice, it has the holes in the side of the ears right there. So you can put the little attachments and stuff in there. Which is really, really cool. Now there is printing. 360, so even on the back. On the top there for the stripes. And I really do think that grey along the side helps out a lot. You don't get that coverage Ooh, if it focuses. You don't get that coverage with the Lego ones and I think it just really adds to the to the helmet of this one. So I'll put this on my decal to Commander Cody. Oh that helmet is so cool. It's really nice. And I got the detail sun visor right here as well which damn that's awesome helmet right there 
Really do love that. Yeah, that is so nice. Yeah, really crisply printed, no errors, no nothing. And next we've got Commander Thorn, which I'll be doing a decaled figure of soon. So I'll do a video on that figure once I've completed it. And yeah, again, really crisp print. I know they do have some trouble at Clone Army Customs with the red ink, but this has turned out really well, if it focuses. There's no imperfections. Just a great helmet right there. Super detailed, got the same style as the back print right there. But just a bit more intricate with the wings design on his helmet. Ooh, just drop that one right there. But yeah, just really, really cool. Glad to add it to my collection. And I also bought a detailed sun visor just to add, add to the helmet. Because you can't have Commander Thorn without the visor. Right now I'm just putting it on this makeshift figure right here. Which is just the standard shock trooper from a while back that I've just put this helmet on. And yeah, he looks really, really awesome. So that's going to be it for this Firestar Toys unboxing. But anyway, I'll probably be doing a speed build on this set back here. That's going to be it for this one. Make sure you like and subscribe for more LEGO Star Wars videos. Go into my latest giveaway by going in the link in the description below. Anyway, that's it. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Big, big, big night.